Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps and welcome to another Tuesday morning crafts video. And this video is going to be super fun because it's all about punch play. Why? Well, if you guys missed my live video, let's see, on Sunday, I shared a plethora of EK success punches that you can find at your local Tuesday morning. It was featured in a Sunday's ad. Yeah, and my store got a lot of them in. Now, if you are interested in what my store has to offer, you could click right now in the upper right-hand screen to be taken to my live Tuesday morning video. Okay, let's get started because I... Well, punches are fun, right? We love our dies. We love our electronic or digital die-cutting machines. But nothing is quicker than using punches. I'll start with this punch. It's, I'm going to call it a tag charm punch because it already has the hole embedded in the punch and I like that. So I think this will make some cute charm tags, but it's called tag punch. You see that there, Four ninety nine. Now Tuesday morning also Got in border punches available in different designs. I did not pick up any of those. Okay, and then this punch. I decided to go ahead and get it. It's called Directions Punch because, well, several months ago, I acquired, well, maybe a little longer than that, but I shared a couple of videos of a boatload of vintage office rubber stamps that I acquired and I acquired a couple of these hand, these pointer hands. I had no idea they were a vintage symbol. So when I saw this punch, I thought I need that because it's perfect for your junk journals, your diaries, your books, and it's also $4.99. Now, Tuesday morning also got in smaller punches as well. I don't think I picked up any of those. Okay, and then the googly eyes. I had to pick up these eyes. In this video, we are going to create not necessarily projects, but some of these um, punches. I'm going to play around with them. And I have an idea for these googly eyes. I love them. And it's called googly eyes. Okay, and then, okay, I saw this and I knew exactly how I wanted to use this. And once again, in this video, we are going to play with this punch and it's called Chef. We're going to play with some gingerbread <laughs> using the mustache and the chef hat. So some of these punches you get, as you can see, more than just one design. Okay, and then you could also pick up the cupcake. Now, I had this punch. I believe I purchased this punch from Hobby Lobby last year when they had their craft clearance sale, 75% off. I did share a live video from that experience. I also shared some shopping lots. By the way, your store, your Hobby Lobby store, might be having a 75% off craft clearance sale now. Several weeks ago, my store got started and I did share live videos regarding that. Okay, now I picked up this punch at Hobby Lobby. It was not on clearance. I used a coupon and it's probably my favorite punch to date. It makes the cutest hamburger, but you could make so much more. I have several videos using this punch to create different things. And in this video, I will offer a maybe one and a half minute tutorial on how you can color and assemble your hamburger. Love it. Must have. And yes, Tuesday morning got Alrighty, this Let's get punch. started. I will be using... This Fun Stamper's Journey color palette that was available last year at Tuesday morning in individual color packs. I think it was 25 sheets of this beautiful colored cardstock for only a buck 99. And let's see, let's let's punch out 
these directions. And I will be using this little paper trimmer that's also available at Tuesday morning. I also reviewed this trimmer and I'll cut it down to three inches. Now this trimmer costs $15. And let's see, maybe four inches will do. So cut it down to four. Alrighty, and let's do our first punch. But before, let's talk about this punch. It's heavy duty. If I had to guess how much it weighed, um, maybe two pounds. Now, this type of punch, it's flattened right now. And when you purchase your punches, it will be flattened. But if you want to open it, you flip it over and you have a little yellow lever and you just push it up and then it opens. And you can punch upside down and I'll do that to ensure that I'm punching my paper and you just, you press. Now it's a lot easier, let's do it again. It's a lot easier on your hands if you have hand issues, you could turn it over to place your paper under and you could also see if your paper is centered. I could see the purple paper on both sides. So it's easier to punch it like this. It's less pressure on your hands. So these are our directions. Let's use another color cardstock. And let's see, you can have your hands pointing in both, well, any direction. So you have a small hand as well. And the arrows. These are cute, I like these. Okay, so to close it back up, you simply press it in and pull the level, pull the yellow lever down. Alrighty, let's move to the next punch. And you know what, I will punch or attempt to punch out acetate and maybe chipboard, right? Okay, so let's do this cupcake. And I want a chocolate cupcake. Have you guys had the, the bunt cakes from the bakery called nothing but bunt? I think it's nothing but bunt cakes or something like that. They're so good. My favorite... Now, my favorite cupcake there is the yellow vanilla. It tastes like it has a little bit of lemon in it. I've had the lemon, too, and it's good. And when I went in the other day, they had a raspberry cake as a taster. And, oh, my goodness, that one was really good. So I think when I go back, I will try that raspberry. Okay, so open it the same way. And I'll punch it this way because it is easier on the hands. And it'll be easier to see if you have proper placement if you have a larger piece of paper to cut. Alrighty. So press it down. You can use both hands if need be. And look at the cute cupcake. Oh, and you know what? It also has the hole. So this is a cupcake charm. And let's do this. Let's take another color. And, okay, so I'm just going to punch right through without cutting down this paper because you can actually layer the pieces. So, let's do that. I can add chocolate frosting. Oh, this is so cute. Just like that. And if I wanted to, I could take these little pieces and adhere them right in. Oh, that one goes here. Isn't that so cool? And do the same here. Or of course, you can just, you can use it just as it is. This is a really cute cupcake. And you know, I had another idea too. You could glue it down and you could take your faux icing 
or you can color in the cupcake area. You can add glue and then add glitter just to the icing part. Oh, this is so fun. This is cute. Okay, you guys, five bucks at Tuesday morning. So let's close this one back up. And you know, these two, the cupcake is thicker than the directions. I don't know why. Now, when you store these, you could store them flat like that or... Whoops, they do stand up just like that. So that's cool. Okay, let's move along to these googly. No, let's do this punch, this tag punch. I love tag punches because if you, if you are sending out a gift, you could just grab a tag punch. Write a thank you, a little message thinking of you to and fro, and you're good to go. Okay, so let's cut this down. Let's do four inches. You know, I can do three inches and get away with it, I'm sure. Do it like that. And now, if you guys have picked up punches already, let's do four and a quarter what punches did you all pick up okay so open it the same way and sometimes you might have to use a little bit of muscle like this one don't seem to want to open for whatever the reason okay Alrighty. oh that's a bomber i'll play around with this one um there might not be any more available of the tag you know, I'll take it upstairs and see if my husband can pop this open. Sometimes that will happen where it'll be difficult to get this lever up. So hopefully my husband, he can do that for me. You will break a nail. That might just happen. Okay, let's do the googly eyes. And hopefully he'll open. He did or she did with no problem. I'm wondering too if I add a little bit of... Um, oil or WD-40 if that will help it glide open. Okay, so let's use this pretty color and punch out these eyes. You could also lay your punch down this way and punch. For the most part, it's really easy to punch these out. Of course, the ease will be contingent upon what type of paper you're using. And look at these eyes. Oh, look at it. You can you can make cute little monsters. So you could position the eyes any orientation like that, like that. And of course you could do the eyes in any color you like, like that. Let's see. You can do oh, this is so fun, you guys. And like if you make well the inside of your cards. If you wanted to add these googly eyes and then write a little message, that would be so cute. You can add just glitter in a different color. You could color in the actual eyeball. Oh, I love it. And let's see, I only saw, I believe, one googly eye from both stores. So some of these punches might be a little harder to find. Okay, and we'll put that one there. And then, okay, so the hamburger punch, I'll punch out last. Actually, remember, at the end of this video, I have a short tutorial using the hamburger punch. So you'll see that at the end. But let's do this chef hat. This is so super cute because we will use it with a gingerbread die. Okay, so let's bring in the cuddle bug. And if you guys have not heard, the cuddle bug is retiring. Have you guys heard that? I'm like, why would they want to retire the cuddle bug? The cuddle bug has been around, I want to say, maybe since 2004, 2005. And why would they want to discontinue the cuddle bug? I still have the original cuddle bug in the original color. And you know, I'll just I'll just use scissors to cut the brown down. But yeah, 
If you guys love the cuddle bug, pick up plates while you can. The reason why I love it, well, you can cuddle it, right? I love the size. I love that it can fold in. And who knows, Tuesday morning might just get some of these in because Tuesday morning is a discount and closeout store. So we might get them in. I wish they had yellow. I do have a yellow, um, is it expression machine? But I don't think they've ever had a yellow cuddle bug. So if they do come out with, well, I doubt if they will because it's being discontinued now. I would love to pick up a yellow one. Well, I love mine because it's easy to use with the steel roll dies. You just need two B plates and, well, I want to add paper. It's really easy to cut out these steel roll dies. Maybe not so much with the intricate wafer dies, unless you have the appropriate sandwich, but I love it. It's the perfect size for the Sizzix original size dies. See how easy? See how easy that was? Love my cuddle bug. Love it, love it, love it. You just saw the Anna Griffin Gold Edition. That you can pick up on HSN, and I believe HSN alone, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so there's that gingerbread guy. And let's let's use pink cardstock to cut out the chef hat. And then we'll use a different color for the mustache. But you know what? Let's cut out both in pink. Very easy to cut out. <laughs> So I'm not going to see if the hat can fit his head until we have a different color mustache. Let's do purple. Bec no, let's do this, this bright color. All righty. Whoops. Got to. No, it is open. Okay. And I don't, I don't mind. I don't need the chef hat, so I just wanted the mustache. Okay, you guys, let's see if this chef hat will fit this particular gingerbread. And, you know, let's go back and take a look at the gingerbread. This one, I think, is discontinued. It's by Sizzix. It's, it's gingerbread man number three. But you know what? A lot of your gingerbread will work if it's the right size. Okay, you guys. Oh, I love gingerbread creations. Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay. Can we put it in like that? Put it in like that? I mean, let's see. How do it supposed to... You know what? I guess you could... Yeah, this would work. If I wanted to, too, I could trim off some of this part. But let's just play around, right? Before we know it, it will be Christmas in July. Now, this is a mustache. So, the hat has to go up there. You know what? I think I can do something with this. Yeah, I really do think I can. And I'm thinking, could this be a tie too? And do I have my mustache the right way? Let's see. No, I think it do supposed to go this way. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm going to play around with that, but you know, the hat will work. You can angle it any way you like. I like it. And then, you know, you could take a stamp and stamp that. Okay, hat so well. my hubby was able to open up this punch. I'm not going to close it until I add a little bit of oil. And it's a thicker punch. It's a thick punch like, well, you know what? It's thicker than the cupcake. What's up with that? So we have seen three. Let's open up this one again. Oh, okay. No, it might be the same size as the googly eyes. Okay, I thought we were working with like three different widths. So the chef hat is much thinner than these two and the cupcake. Alrighty, so the design too is smaller than what I thought. I thought it was going to be bigger based on how big this punch is. Okay, let's... Let's punch it out and see. Oh, and you can't. Okay, so it's upside down, but you can't see where you're punching. All right, so these punches are designed. Some are designed different. Let's use 
this pink card stock. We're going to punch it this direction. Still easy to punch, but too bad you can't see where you're punching. But then again, that might be a good thing because this punch feels bigger than the other punches. So it's easier, once again, on, on the hands if you punch it like this. Okay, and take a look at the little cute charm tag. I like that. You can write a personal message. You can use smaller stamps. And I love that it has the hole already in it. Okay, you guys, let's see if these punches will work with acetate. I will have, if I don't forget, this acetate. Oh, I can't see that way. Okay, let's do chipboard first because that acetate was pretty small and you can't see where you're punching upside down. Oh yes, really easy. This is Recollections, Recollections, Michael's chipboard. I need to pick some of this up. Oh, okay, this is so cool because all punches will not cut out thicker materials. So these EK Success, at least that punch will. Let's try the Chef Hat. And do you see how there's a wider opening in the throat? with the tag than it is with the chef hat. So let's see if this will fit through. Yeah, it will. So maybe it'll punch. Yes, it will. <laughs> Love that. So if you want thicker die cuts, you can definitely cut out at least recollections chipboard. And this one was a little bit harder to go through, but it still went through the googly eyes. Let's try the cupcake. And then we will try some acetate. Okay, so the cupcake, mm, at least at the angle I'm in, no, it's not going to work. Now, perhaps it'll work if it's right in front of me. Nope. So the cupcake, you guys, for whatever the reason, will not punch through the chipboard. Um, let's try the hamburger, right? And you could see the impression there. Let's see if the hamburger will nope the hamburger it did better than a cupcake but it's a little bit stuck i have to wiggle it out so some of these punches will punch through chipboard might be the same for acetate and some will not and the hamburger is one that will not okay so Let's try the acetate, and we will try the acetate with, the cupcake didn't work with chipboard, right? Let's just try it with, oh, I hate that I can't see because you'll waste, potentially waste your paper if you have especially a little bit of it. Because, okay, it punched through, you guys. Look at that. So cool. Okay, so once again, some punches will work with acetate and chipboard, and some will not, but they should all work with your cardstock. All right, if you are interested in assembling and coloring this must have hamburger punch, well, continue. I have to say, to the hamburger is my favorite. And I don't know why, because I'm not a hamburger junkie. But don't this hamburger look real? It would make the perfect embellishment sticker. And there's another one. I love it. <laughs> and then on this one, I added double lettuce. And the only thing I used was paper, markers, and my punch. The great thing, once again, about punches, you don't need all that extra stuff. You could just sit down in one spot and create and make until your heart's delight. Here we go, you guys. I am using plain white cardstock with my Copic or alcohol markers to color in each piece, each part of my hamburger. This by far, it was very easy. And coloring, as we all know, it's relaxing. So I did this on a whim, and some of you may recognize this tutorial because I took it right from my original hamburger video. 
Once again, I do have several. Let's see, you could make a hamburger. I think I made a Subway sandwich. I think I made tacos. And I think I may have made a donut and something else. This is one of the most versatile punches I think I have and that's out there. And the hamburger, once again, it looks so realistic. Once again, it would be um, a nice sticker. You can make it dimensional by adding pop dots or dimension between your layers. You can do a double cheeseburger. You can do a vegan burger. You can add cheese. Right here, I'm adding my special sauce, <laughs> which I'll, well, I'm using Novo Drops. It's really fun. And I also added dots, white dots to my hamburger well, bun. And there you have enjoyed have. our punch play with these punches that you can currently find at your store. And who knows, your store might have designs that my store did not get because I have found that selection do vary, not just by region, but by store as well. And you know what? I got a feeling we might continue to get more EK success punches in. And if that's the case, well, I will continue to bring Tuesday morning craft punch play videos. Now, if you like this video, why not like it? Give me a big thumbs up. Also, subscribe. Feel free to share this video. And if I remember, I will have that acetate linked below because acetate can be purchased in different thicknesses. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all for watching. As always, blessings.